In today's adventure, we set foot onto the tiny Arctic island of Namalsk. If you guys know anything about this place, you'll know that it is almost impossible to survive, especially as a solo. Being in a challenging environment like this is the ultimate test, and I've also found that it leads you to think and move a lot differently. You have to get creative. Now let's just say in this adventure, I got creative. With the resources I had, I was able to secure a really unique spot and build one of my favorite bases yet. With all this being said, let's go back to where it really began, on the coast as a fresh spawn. All right, fellas, I'm back at it on a new Daisy adventure. And uh, today we're playing Escape from Namalsk. This is the same server, well, a similar server to the one I played in my last video, which was on Deer Isle, except this one is on Namalsk, which is gonna be crazy because it's a smaller map and I felt like playing a smaller map so I could run into people more. So hopefully we get a lot of interactions here. Anyway, we started off with an ax. We have a little Makarov, some food, some meds. The game plan for today was quite simple. Get a gun as quick as possible so I could defend myself and then go from there. Since I had spawned north, I was pretty close to the large town of Vorkuta, which doesn't really have the greatest amount of stuff and it's a common spot for people to PvP, so I didn't want to go in there. Instead, I made my way west towards a military base to try my luck there. Alright, the military base is straight in front of me now. Seems kind of quiet right now. Oh, nice flashlight. Oh, no, 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 there's two bodies. That is not a good sign. And that L shape is closed. Okay. Yeah, somebody's definitely here. Someone just talked. Hello? We could have talked. <laughs> I was literally gonna talk to him, man. All right, I didn't lose that much health. We're okay, we're okay. That guy was out for blood. Wait, he actually like just spawned in. What the hell? Oh, nice. That's guy's tactical with ammo. Perfect. We're good. You know, we got a few rounds in it. I want to check these bodies. But I don't really know if he has anything. I feel like it's too risky. I'm just going to go. I have a full inventory. And that guy I killed might come back. So let's just play it smart here and get away while I can. If you ask me, that was a pretty good start to the day. I had gotten out of the military alive with a decent armor, a usable gun, and a bag full of sellables that I could make a decent amount of money from. And now all I had to do was extract to the trader, but this was a little bit easier said than done. All right, extract should be somewhere at this uh, port here. It's actually right on the helipad based on the map, which is very easily capable. So let's take a look, scout around, make sure nobody's over there. All right, let's just run for it. I don't really see much. Should be able to just get out quickly here. Someone's behind me. I don't know what he's shooting. Hopefully it's not a tapper. God, don't hit me, don't hit me. I can't even extract. He's going to be watching it. I think he's camping it. Problem is, to extract, I got to wait 10 seconds. And he's going to definitely kill me. There he is. I see him. He's just camping the tree line. That dude's geared, though. He has a ghillie. I think he's up in one of these trees. That's too far. I definitely can't extract here. I could just run. Like, I could run along the coast. But there's no other extracts anywhere around. Like, I'd be running for an hour straight, probably before I get to another one. This guy had seen me run into this area, so getting to the outpost now would be complete suicide. He was not gonna stop watching the extract. All I could really do was try to sneak back out without him spotting me and flank his position. Oh wait, is that at his position? Could those shots be near him? Oh, wait, that could be him. That definitely could be him. guys are fighting. I don't know if it's like a group or what. I think he just died, that guy. He's dead. That's him, I think. Black Gilly. That's gotta be him, right? Oh, yeah. This is the guy. This has to be him. Look at his gear. My god. Look at the stems and shit. I don't have room. I'm running. I'm running with what I got. 
This was almost guaranteed to be the same guy that was shooting at me at the extract based on the suppressed gun he had. And he also killed another guy which had about 50,000 in cash and a whole lot more stuff which I stuffed my bag with. Going from an SKS to endgame gear like this was a massive come up and all I had to do now was not lose it. Alright, we are gonna go extract now. It's almost impossible to see even with night vision, like you can't really see that far. I'm running for it! Please! Let me go! Oh, we made it, we made it, thank god. After selling almost everything I could, we have... 300k? Uh, 200k? 220k? My next course of action was to try finding nails so that I could build a base. I looked at the quest board and saw that there was a quest that gave you one box of nails if you delivered a package to a guy named Jet. It looked like Jet was located somewhere far out on the ice, which was really dangerous territory, so I grabbed some supplies and made my way out there to try and meet him. I gotta deliver it on the ice and, and come back. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. It's across the map, boys. I gotta cross. I gotta cross the entire map, but I guess I'm gonna go for it. I feel like I faintly heard a bear. This way. I'm gonna I'm gonna head this way and take a look. Oh yep, there is a bear. Oh perfect. Polar bear. And we got some steaks as well, which should fetch us a good price at the market. I'll try to grab two of those, and I think we're good to go. Let's keep going. Wait, is this like reserve from Tarkov? Because they call it reserve. Like on the map, right? It says reserve. Like, is this actually Tarkov's reserve rebuilt? After hiking for 40 minutes, I get to this area, and it turns out that you can't actually enter it to complete the quest. At least not from the actual map. You had to teleport in from the outpost. So basically, I did an entire hour-long round trip for absolutely nothing. Well, I guess you could say I got some bear pelts out of it, but other than that, yeah, there wasn't really much that happened. So I went back to the outpost once again to try to teleport in. Oh my, I'm gonna die. Alright, I guess I gotta stand in this two feet of space, or I'll lose the extract. I think I killed him. Oh, I can't even loot him. Whatever, I'm gonna quickly sell. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's gotta be dead. Alright, we gotta go fast. I'm gonna spawn north and, uh, yeah, run his direction. Somebody's back. I don't know if that's the guy I killed. Where is this guy shooting? Oh, there he is. He's looting. That dude had something decent. He's looting the guy I killed, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the guy I killed. If I die, I die, I guess. Can't really avoid it. Wow. Got an AUG. Ooh, pallet bed. Damn, this guy had some shit on him. I gotta be quick here. I'm, no, I'm being kind of greedy, but I can't help myself, boys. I really can't. Wait, he just had a shotgun. Okay. All right, I'm gone. I think that's enough. I didn't even loot the first guy I killed, but that guy probably looted him before I killed him. Back at the outpost, things were pretty quiet. I sold all of the stuff I got off the few guys I had just killed, and then I took the nail quest once again, hoping to actually complete it this time. I made my way to reserve and ended up finding the NPC that I had to trade with, and I was able to successfully get a box of nails, which meant that I could now build, although it would be only a small base. And now the next step was finding a spot to set up a home, which would be quite hard, especially on a small island map like Namalsk. This wouldn't be a bad spot to build. This little house. Because it has an upstairs as well, from what I remember. This is a good little spot, boys. This really ain't too bad. To start, all I'd really have to do is seal off this one door. And I get this whole upstairs to play with. This is option one. And then we'll go check Jala Visco, like, out east. See if there's any better spots. But this house could be really good, because we have the whole upstairs. And we have two rooms downstairs. I like that a lot. This spot on the hill, it's not too bad. Honestly, it's not too bad at all. It's right above Jalavisco, not too far from Extract and Verkuda. 
But as you can see, it was raided. So in theory, I could just put my flag down, rebuild this door, and bam, I have a base. And I could just throw another door down here. Wow, that is a behemoth of a base right there. Yeah, we do not want to live here, man. I got heli hangers. Seems like a sweaty, sweaty group living there. In fact, seeing this right now kind of makes me not want to build anywhere near here. Because even if I build on the coast, they're probably going to find my base. I walked around the northern part of the island marking base locations for quite a while, but there was not really many good places to build. When looking for the ideal location, I wanted three things. First, it had to be close to an extract. Second, it had to be something that I could easily seal off using only one box of nails. And finally, it had to be in the northern part of the map. I was not going to live south because that's where all the groups were. The northeastern part of this island had a few big groups living there and it looked like they were raiding all of their smaller neighbors. So this was not going to work for me and I eventually had to try to settle further out west. <gasps> what the f- What is going on in this part of the map? I've never even seen aliens at the mosque before. At least that type of alien. I'm, I'm extracting, bro. Maybe I don't live here. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to try the lighthouse. Maybe I can build up at this lighthouse uh, up here. There's also another building, which we might be able to get away with building at. That might be the best bet, really, because I don't see many other options up north, and I really do not want to go further south. There's a guy in front. That guy looks fucking geared, boys. Hit him. It's not dead. Oh, there's two. Oh, I gotta back up. I got I got base building shit. I thought there was just one. Guess we're not going to the lighthouse right now. <laughs> they might be extracting or something. I don't know. All right. Here we go. We're here. Thank God there's no base here. It's actually a miracle. I really expected there to be one here. There's one everywhere else, apparently. So, with that being said, let me try to place my territory. Hopefully, it works. Yeah, I need to get more planks. We gotta run back and uh, cut some trees, it seems like. What the fuck are you doing, buddy? Where did this guy come from? Oh, dear. <laughs> we gotta cut these damn planks fast. Okay, we're sealed. This is probably the smallest space I have lived in. Like... <laughs> like ever. Let's go ahead and place that there. The bed. Oh, that's a perfect placement. That's really nice. And we got a lot of room in the bed too. So I'll put up uh, a spare armor set. And uh, it's time to go loot, I suppose. With base down, I now had a place that I could store my loot, which meant that I could do some frequent runs to the nearby military base to grab guns and look for some action. Does he see me? <laughs> Why do you just stand and look at me, man? What are you doing? All right, we know there's one more. Maybe I key him, man. Maybe I'm that guy. What the? F what did the? Where'd the horde just come from? All right, well I gotta go in now. Is that at me? There's a guy in front. I see him. I think this is a different guy, though. Where did he go? Is that him? <laughs> I got half a mag gear. I gotta get inside and lock these f***ing zombies away. Oh my god, man. What are this? What are the zombies doing? Bro, why is there so many fucking people and zombies? All right, we got to we got to chill out. I got to heal here. Like the zombies just sit there at the door. He doesn't come in. He doesn't leave me alone. And then he runs off into the sunset. Okay. Oh, Bitcoin. What the f what are you doing with the Bitcoin? Oh my god, he has so much good shit. 
All right, let's check the other guys and then go extract because I got a lot of stuff already, like as it is. Oh yeah, he got a little bit. Like nothing crazy, but. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Where did these guys come from? I'm just gonna leave man. There's so many people. There's still like two guys that I didn't loot But like the zombies are all gonna chase me now and I have pretty decent stuff I got a Bitcoin a lot of barter stuff to sell and I need the money bad. So we're just gonna run Base is not rated. Wow Imagine it was rated already though. <laughs> That'd be crazy Somebody outside Somebody's outside He's running around could be super geared like he could be baiting to be fair what are you doing over here pal like did he follow me maybe he followed me this base is all right but it's a little bit risky living here that's two people that ran over to this island so far i don't know like i could live on the ice it wouldn't be bad It'd be kind of annoying to get back and forth, but it's doable. Like, it's definitely doable. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm going to log out for the night. I'm going to use my new bed. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. Turns out we're not raided, which is nice. There was a lot of luck involved, but I was able to somehow snowball my way from starting off with an SKS to having a ton of good gear and a pretty decently packed base. But this base isn't going to last long, especially with only one door. It was time to upgrade. The problem with this was that I didn't have a lot of nails, so I couldn't make this massive complex base. I had to really work with the small footprint that I had. So I had to come up with something unique. I just cut, what, like 60 planks? About, just about 60. Now I just got to swim to my island and do some building. This is going to be a little bit tense though, because as you can see... Anybody over here will be able to see me freely standing over there and building. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. So we do that. And then we're going to do a foundation on this side. And I really hope this idea works. I don't know if it will, to be honest, y'all. But Bam, she's done. There is a gap. Uh, I can seal that. It's because I didn't place... I didn't do the foundation low enough. But it's... I think it's usable. Like, we can still enter. No problem. Nice. All right, she's done. So I've added this little <laughs> sloped part to the base. That's going to give us more room once I get a code lock. I'll be able to just uh, walk on in and put a bunch of storage here. And then I'll seal off this uh, gap. This is a fairly easy fix. I just got to put a half wall there. And I'll also rotate this door around later on, but I'm not too worried about it right now because I can't even put a code lock on it anyway. But yeah, that's where we are for now. Let's go check those shots out. Those guys are gunning each other down, it seems like. Let me see what she looks like from over here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. <laughs> that is gonna be sick. And it's an island too, I love that. We have our own little island. That is beautiful. Yeah, they gotta be shooting right in the center of the base. Pretty positive that's where it's going down. Oh my god, there's two, bro. This server lags so bad, man. Like, that whole time I was prone, I was clicking to stand up and I couldn't. Frig. I could turn in one of my quests, actually. Let me see if I could do that. And get a gun. Call of Survivors. Yeah, I'll take this out. I don't really have an armor, though. But I might be able to catch them. He's probably waiting for his boy to come back. I don't think they can carry everything. Yeah, I died right there. So he's probably still in the woods here. There's got to be in a tree though, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> As I say that, like you can't even see him too with the camo. I didn't have a sleeping bag yet, which meant that I couldn't respawn at base and grab a gun. So the fastest way to get back to my gear would be spawning at the outpost and turning in one of the quests I had completed the day before to get a basic gun. All I had now was a trusty SKS and a few minutes to get back before they ran off with the gear. I had to make every shot count. 
Oh, I'm 800 meters away. Oh, wow, I'm getting lucky. All right, we gotta catch him. He's gonna be doing the mannequin challenge in one of the trees here. I have no armor this time at all, so. I see him, I see him. Did he see me? That kid's just sitting in this tree in front of me. One dead. His boy's probably back if he's running. His teammate's gotta be back. Did I kill him? Surely I killed him, right? Dead. Is that them both? Did I actually kill them? I did kill them both. Holy shit. Okay, so it was just a duo. I gotta loot and run, boys. Please tell me there's not three. There is three. Oh no, it's a zombie. This is just a zombie. Uh, this guy doesn't have much. I think the other guy has all the gear. Killer armors? What the f Oh my god. There's too much shit, man. I gotta move. I gotta pull back. I don't even know what to do. I gotta go to base, depot, and come back. It's my best bet. Before they come back. I was kind of worried somebody might follow me back to my base, especially the two guys I had just killed, but it looked like I was able to slip away without being noticed. At the end of the day, I was able to secure the two gear sets that I had initially lost, and I was also able to secure two new gear sets from these guys, which included exotic armors, really good guns, cash, and barters, basically anything I would really need. Now that I was sitting on a gold mine protected by only one wooden door, I realized I had to upgrade my base and I had to do it fast. So I made my way towards the trader to sell some of the stuff I got and try to get another box of nails. Time to extract. The zombies, there's so many. I'm gonna have to lock them up before I extract because they're gonna rush me while I'm on the platform there. You can see my base from here. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh what the f I'm not even going to shoot you. I'm going to be merciful here. But don't peek me again. <laughs> he shot me and then he crawled back around the corner. Oh, no, no, no. That's funny, man. <laughs> he knew. He was like, Fuck, that guy's not going to die. He got armor. <laughs> oh, my armor sold. 200k. Beautiful. After selling everything I had at the outpost, I came out with about 350k, which was enough to buy a box of nails once somebody listed that on the market. So while I waited for somebody to list these, I went back out and did some more looting. Level 5 armor. Yo, got uh, another box of nails Still from running in raids, and I also got a code lock to add to my other door. So now we just need to get to base without getting murdered. What the f- He literally has absolutely nothing. Like, would he spawn on me? Like, is that possible? Yeah, like, that would be I ideal, I think. And I'll just put a foundation under it or something after. Somebody's at extract getting murdered, it seems like. Nice. Okay. We kind of got another airlock, but things are looking scuffed, I know. But just give it a minute. Give it a few more days. Now I just got to seal off the top here, which is going to be a little bit uh, tricky to do. But I'm going to put a roof there, like afterwards. But for now, we'll put like a temporary uh, small, small roof. All right, overall, not bad progress. This door is going to get replaced. Uh, and then we're going to make another slope going up. But right now, I need to go get more wood. And I need to get more nails. And also, this wall has to be flipped later on. But that one is not a big deal. But yeah, the plan is to go up one more. And then it's going to be kind of like a little cabin design. The inside is going to be really nice, you'll see.
What the f this dude just spawned in. I gotta kill him because he's gonna just he's gonna cause problems if I don't. I don't think he's gonna talk. And if I talk, he's gonna recognize my voice. I think he's gonna know I live there, and then my base is gone overnight. What this guy's doing over here? That's a full geared guy right there. Why are they at my base or near my base? He's looting. How many guys are over here? I think I unconned one. I don't think he's full dead. Oh, he is full dead. This guy has an AA-12. What the hell? This guy is also full dead. Oh, this guy is juiced. I need to drop my planks, man. He's a key to Vorkuta school. I need that. That could give me nails. This guy's kind of fresh. Nothing crazy. I think it was just two solos fighting, maybe? I don't know what happened. Anyway, we got the foundation built. We just need more nails, like usual. I feel like I say this every single time we progress or do anything. But basically, the base, how I'm going to design it, it's not going to be like a crazy big base, which, which means we don't need like a million nails, but we're going to need a few more boxes at the very least to build like the... I guess the uh, the entire outer part of the base and then it's a matter of fixing the inside and gate stacking the hell of it we got to gate stack the shit out of this like there's got to be a bunch of gates here as many as we can fit uh but uh, we're not there yet right now i am gonna be inviting my friend beowulf to join me and help me out a little bit because it seems like there's a lot of groups around one more person will help me get nails faster now that I had some backup, we made our way into the town of Vorkuta to try and use the school key that I had gotten off one of the guys that I had just killed. Anyway, so it should be a locked room in here, I'm thinking. Let me just, I'm going to check the, the key, what it says. BM2HQ, Vorkuta school. Uh, BM2... BMP2, what the f*** does that mean? Level 2? No, this is not it. But there is still one here, which is good news. So that's a different key right there. I found an open one. No, this might be the one we need, dude. We searched the entire school looking for a crate that we could actually unlock, but it looked like people had beat us to all of them. However, it wasn't a total loss. We were able to get some barter stuff, and we made our way back towards the outpost. But uh, this time around, I got into some complications on the extract. Nice, it kicked me out of the zone. Oh dear, oh dear. Wait, I'm on con. Maybe it teleports me in? Oh! I'm up, I'm up! No, my gun's on the fucking helipad! No! Yeah, so we're just gonna put the sloped roof basically going up one more off of this one. I think to start, what I'll do is put a wall here. So this, you just snap to the top of that, like so. That should be good. Ah, perfect. Okay. We did it. We did it. I still have 40 nails too. That's beautiful. Okay. That door is finally done. There still is the gap out here but I think it's fine perfect now I can replace this door nice and because here is gonna be another door entering to where you are and then you come up here and then up here I'm gonna make it so like you can basically shoot down if someone's raiding kind of yeah at least his best earth or grenades would be even better. That's the idea anyway. Get 
Okay, that's done. Now I need to do a window up here. Well, I don't need to, but I'd like to. Beautiful. What are they doing out there? You can hear the snaps landing over here. <laughs> hey, we got the gun wall set up. Oh, that is perfect placement. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let me go get some guns and put them in here. Is that you? Zer, they're right outside our base. Nizar, where the fuck are you? They're right there. They're fucking two gear guy down here. You dead? No, no, no. I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't have a ranged gun though. Where are Bro, they? There's like, like five guys here. Right at this building. Oh, I see one. I see one. Yeah. Do you have a sniper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shooting me right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push them from the side. Give me a sec. Maybe I can get a flank on him. I'm running over to you. Killed one. Killed two. Killed two. I see a third one. There's more. There's more. He got you? Yeah. I see him. Hold up. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. There's my other mag, bro. Oh, I'm hit. Fuck. I'm dead, dude. Two shots. I have like the best armor in the game. Wait, I think I spawned here. I actually spawned like right here. Wait, wait, wait. Where's my body? I'm about to just go in the damn base and get a gun, man. Killed another one. The dude who shot me has got to be somewhere out here, man. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him on a rock, dude. I don't have a sniper, though. I could actually blast him. Oh, uh, he's still by the shore, then. Yeah, he's at the right. rock. He's on a rock, yeah, on the shore. He's just kind of aiming his little head. He's peeking his little head out. He just killed somebody else. I need to go get a sniper. I'm going to go in the base. Ah, uh, what SVD has mags? I got a 20 round SVD mag and a dream. Or 10 round SVD mag and a dream. I see the bodies though. Like, I have cover of them. Killed another one, looting. One fucker is like sitting far back sniping. I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah, he's right behind me. I'm coming. I don't think that's him though. I think it's a different guy. Hold up, I can probably kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be chasing me here. Oh. Where is he? Is he hiding? Oh, I see him. He's on the rock. Yeah. Yeah, he's sniping me. Hold up, hold up. I don't see him. You could peek him. You could peek him. I, I think I hit him. I'm knocked though. He's gillied. I have no health, Chief. I'm dead. I think one's close. I don't even know what's going on. I killed him. I, I tried to know. Well, someone killed me close, I think, though. I got a far spawn. I'll run, though. Beowulf had traded with the last geared guy, but we both got really bad spawns. So now it was a race to get back before any fresh spawns or other people went up and grabbed all of the loot. I could swim across to the base here. I might do that and grab a gun. Oh, I see. I still see him. He's on the rocks. He sees me. He's gonna kill me. Wait, he's going to our base. He's literally at our base right now. He's just running around it. But just one guy. I think it's the last guy who shot like you, maybe, or me. I don't know. He's just sitting in the trees. Are you shooting? No, nah, pistol guy's shooting him. I think this guy's running away. I'm gonna try to jump, swim over there. Oh, bro, there's a lot of guys. What, towards the base? Uh, I mean, yeah. Like, 
the fresh spawn. The, Bro, like, like, what's the odds we build in the most random spot of the map where it's supposed to be fresh spawns and like half the server just happens to be fighting here? Good thing we upgraded the base though. It's gotta be in one of these trees, I'd imagine. Wait a minute. Oh no, this is the fresh spawn. Where's the geared guy? It should be in this tree. Wait, this is the guy I saw. He had a pilgrim. Did the fresh spawn? Did he trade with a freshie? No way. Yeah, he has a he has a shitty AK. Dog tags. This guy looted, bro. Oh, <gasps> he killed he killed one of the geared guys. I got my SVD back. I got my SVD back. Like these dudes came over here and traded at our base. Oh my god, I, I'm fucked. I got everything, dude. I have so much gear. No way. <laughs> like barter shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every dog tag from that fight I have. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> the guy runs over here, getting chased by, I guess he's getting chased by a pistol, a fresh spawn. No fucking way. And I, I hear shots and I'm like, oh, he must've killed the fresh spawn. No, these dudes traded. Like they're literally, they're both, both their bodies are right here. It's a miracle, man. So through a stroke of pretty good luck, we were able to recover everything we had lost and much more. We had multiple dog tags and a million different gear sets, and now all that was left was to finish up the base and make room for all of this new stuff. Here is the final base. As you guys saw, we couldn't really find many spots to build on this map. It's just, <laughs> there's really no good spots. I mean, it's that simple. Every decent spot where there's a building was taken and nails are really hard to come by. So we couldn't really do a freestanding base. So I tried to get creative with this one. Basically, we took a small shed and tried to make a decent sized base out of it. Now, the reason I built this as triangles is because it's a little bit cheaper than just doing like, you know, two boxes and then another box on top. And I think it looks a lot better. And I think it's also misleading to people because when they look at it, they might think, oh, it's just a shitty little base. You know, there's probably nothing in there. But on the inside, there's a lot of room with the way I designed it. And I just find building bases and just testing myself to be one of the more fun parts of DayZ after like nine part, uh, nine years of playing. So that's why <laughs> I really wanted to try to do something unique with this one. But anyway, come on into the base. Let me show you what we got. So you walk on in, there's just a long hallway. Uh, in here, you have our first door, which leads you into this very nice room. What I'm probably going to do in a little bit is add more storages up here. And if I can even get a chair, I'll add a chair because you come on up here, you have a window right there that you can open if I don't fall. But anyway, yeah, we have a small uh, window that we can access. Once I put something down here, I'll be able to stand on top of it and like shoot out of here if I need to. But you can see we have neighbors right across. And yeah, this is a pretty nice room. And also the best part about this room is this little hold. So... It is a tiny base and there's a good chance it'll get raided. So if I'm online, I've left these little gaps that I could shoot through in case I need to. So you could basically shoot here if they're placing C4. And also I left a gap here where you can throw a grenade because grenades will be the most important thing to defend with. So I could pretty much sit in this corner, lob grenades in there. And I'm hoping that people on the outside will have no clue what this interior layout is if they try to raid. Also more gaps right here where you could, you know, shoot if you need to. And the only way they can get in there is by raiding this door. So it's pretty much a waste of a C4 for them if they want access to this space. And you already know, I got a beautiful painting right here. It really just makes the space a lot nicer with that there. Here I have one more room to put another airlock, but uh, I don't see the need for it at the moment. When you come on in here, you have the shed where it all started. Now I had a bed in this corner, but when I dismantled it, it bugged under the foundation. I'm guessing it's under the foundation right now. So we couldn't really use that, but I meant to have a bed in here, but it doesn't matter. This is like the repair bench room. Basically I have like all the tools we would need here. I have some grenades for base defense, uh, our workbench to build. And then this repair bench has been super useful this whole uh, like past week I've been playing. Because you can put like sewing kits and stuff in there, right? And then if I want to repair, all I got to do is say, take a badly damaged handsaw. And you go up here and you can repair it. And it'll use the sharpening stone that I put in the bench. And it's much faster than using like the, the regular sharpening stone. And I think it uses way less too. So that has been like a really big help. Anyway, that's this room. Now back to the armory where pretty much everything of value is. Here, I have everything I've uh, collected since I started playing. A lot of this I collected solo. I'd say about like 80% of it I collected solo. And then the last few guns and like some armors I got because my friend Beowulf was with me uh, when we had some fights, but I'll show you around. Here we have the collectibles and meds. 
these I've got to go sell soon. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And then all the meds here in case, you know, I need to heal up. Here I have some of the decent guns I got. This is like a 338 sniper. We got two SVDs with like really nice attachments, optics on there. Uh, some automatic shotguns for base defense. And yeah, we have a Kavari down there. And all of these dummies are like pretty much loaded with more guns too. So you can see we have a shit ton more guns and mags, weapon repair kits, you name it. Over here, pretty much the same thing, like nothing too special. Just ammo box there, more guns, rifles, more bags if I need, you know, if I need to get a new kit. The table here, which you can't put anything on top of, unfortunately. I thought we could put something on it. So yeah, that's where the base is so far. And I'm pretty happy with the, with what I've accomplished, I guess. And we'll see how long this bad boy stands. But I think I'm nearing the end of my adventure, really, because it's been quite a while I've been on here. And we've gotten like 30 plus kills so far. When all was said and done, I was pretty satisfied with what I was able to accomplish in the short time that I had on this adventure. Considering I was mostly solo, I thought I did pretty good. I won some really tough fights, got a whole lot of gear, built a unique base using the least amount of nails as possible. And my little island home was pretty much quiet from here on out. I didn't really get too many visitors and we didn't end up getting raided, at least not while I was on there. So anyway, I know this is a shorter video, just about 40 minutes, but uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully the next one will be a little bit longer. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next adventure.